Okay, guys, so maybe let's take a minute and think about how to calculate slope. So what is slope? Well, basically slope is the angle of the line that we're talking about. And slope is part of all kinds of stuff. Um, the demand curve of you know, supply and demand in economics, um, the slope of a roof in construction, staircases, um, graphs um, all have slope. Um, you know, we use this in business applications to find break-even points. Um, so s finding the slope and, you know, graphing lines is really important in business and, and a, lot of, a lot of math uses lines. Um, now, w how you measure slope basically is the chain, like if you think about two points, maybe this point and this point, how much uh, change is there or how much kind of upness is there and how much does this come over? Um, so how much change up and how much change over um, will give us slope from there to there, right? So it's really measuring the change in up and the change in, you know, left or right. And how to calculate that, um, well, if we think about kind of like a formula, slope is the same thing as m in, in linear equation stuff. And really that's the change, so triangle means change, the change in rise compared to the change in run or flat, you know, horizontal movement. And in kind of like a, an easy way to think about it, is um, so change means subtraction like so when we think about the difference of things we subtract so like this point subtracted from that point will get us the overall change of this up part so measuring up and down is the y axis so this straight up and down line is the y-axis. So how to measure the change in up and down is to take one of the points or the, the second point and subtract it from the first point. So y2 minus y1. Uh, I'm, I'll kind of go into what those are in a second. Um, the other part um, is this change in run. So run is this flat movement along the x-axis, right? So how much does it move left and right? That's run. And to find the difference or the change in run, we go x2 minus x1. So this becomes really easy if somebody gives you two points. So I'm going to take two points here. Point number one is minus 5 and minus 3. And point number two is negative 1 and negative 1. Okay, so these are two points. And um, what I'm going to do is just put these into um, this equation and see if we can figure out slope. So in this situation, we're only given two points. But if we have two points, I bet we can figure out slope. Okay, so let's fill this in according to this little doohickey over here. So y2 is the, the y value. So remember, our points are x and y. The y value for point number two. So y2 is negative one. The y value for point number two. So negative one. Then in this equation, there is a negative sign. So I'm going to put the negative sign. And then let's find y1. y value for point number one is negative three. OMG, we have two signs next to each other. I'm going to separate that with a bracket. Okay, that's just a thing in math. We always separate signs from each other. Um, next, x2. So x2 is the x value for point number 2. So that's negative 1. There is a subtraction or minus in the formula. And then x1 is the x value for point number 1, which is negative 5. And again, I'm just going to separate those two subtraction signs with a set of brackets. 
So this will give us m or slope. And we can go and just clean it up a little bit. Negative times a negative will give us a positive. So this really becomes negative 1 plus 3. And on the bottom, negative 1 plus 5. Negative 1 plus 3 will give us 2. And negative 1 plus 5 will give us 4. 2 divided by 4 is a half or 0.5. or one half. So slope is one half or 0.5 or however you want to think about it. So basically that means for every change in up and down by one place, you'll have a change in the horizontal by two places. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, right? If I do all this, this is all nicely graphed. I'm not an artist, guys, really. I suck at art. Um, okay, so let's say you had a point um, right here, right? Imagine that's our point. And we find we want to find another point using slope. Well, I could say, okay, for rise, one thing of rise is going to be equivalent to positive 2, 1, 2, of, of horizontal movement. And I could go up again by 1 and over 2, 1, 2. And I could keep counting like that, and I would always get points along the line. 1, and then 1, 2. So you could see there that if you knew just one point, like if I knew this point and I knew um, what slope is, I could just keep counting slope over and over and over again um, to create as many points as I want on this line. Anyway, so that's how we create slope, or that's how we find slope. You can find it with two points, right? Just using y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Just remember there's a subtraction in the formula and when you work it out, you'll find slope. What a day! Cheers, everybody.